Just about set to go. And on the hill, Zach Eflin and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. All right, ready to go here. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Jaron Duran. That one missed. It's a good take. And it skips into dirt. The wind of the pitch. Cuts out and misses. That's a strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. On the ground. And that chance handled. On the run, throw to first. And that quickly, two away. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Masataka Yoshida. Well, Boo, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Out to center. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on the plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Ref Snyder off the of first with two away. Slap the other way, foul. Swings here and blasts one left field. Could be extra bases. Ref Snyder, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He'll score and the Red Sox have the lead. one nothing. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And it's scoring position with two away. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. Right through there for a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Next offering is down low. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Up the middle. That's a hit. Devers headed home. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. Well done. Drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. He just shot it through the infield. And next is the designated hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Eflin a move to first. Throw, and it gets away. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Boog, you got to move your feet as footwork is so important on those pickoff throws over to first. And it can be a little easy to get twisted up and throw across your body. And he didn't have much of a lead over there at all. So I doubt he was trying to do anything more than just keep him honest, which makes that error hurt even more. Foul ball there.
Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. And that's a two out double. Nice line drive to the pull side. Put it out front. But just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So two down. Dom Smith stands in. And it's second. Sliced hard, but foul. Here comes the pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Snags it on the run. And that is that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Red Sox three, and the Orioles coming up. And we're back. And towing the slab, Nick Pavetta. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys they get a little tight, they start to no aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. In the dirt, and now three and one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. One thing these guys do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. Well, Boog, we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because guys are slugging the ball, they're hitting it over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with that the bat. So, opposing pitcher That's better not walk anybody or give them free base runners because these guys know what to do when men are on. So, next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the oh. defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And that one hops the wall. And he'll pull into second with two gone. Throw is high and over his head. Sizes this one up, nabs it, and that will end the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail it here, three nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he beats no, he it. He's that. safe. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So, man aboard. Now it's the second baseman, David Hamilton. 
on the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. The 2 2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. No outs. Runner on second. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by four. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. And a pitch. Ball, ball. Runner at first with no outs here. That one ripped right center field. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 6-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Zach Eflin will depart, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. On the mound now, number 49. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And now the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Kicks and fires. Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to first. Finally gets the first out here on the ground. The left fielder, number 30, Rob. Ref Snyder. Rob Ref Snyder digs in now. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Right hander kicks deals. Falling behind two and one. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Birch Smith is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Base is empty, one away. All Red Sox in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Got him. Two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. Now, now, You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to Rafael. foul something off, extend yeah, that at bat. Two outs, base is empty. Rafael Devers, the next to hit. Ground ball no. right side. No. And foul ball. Now fly ball to right center. Mullins makes the catch, and that is that. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now at Oriole Park. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here is Adley Rutschman. All right, Boog, so I was scrolling through social media the other day, and a video of Adley popped up. It was a clip of him playing college football for Oregon State. How athletic is this guy? He tackled Stanford great Christian McCaffrey. Seriously, what can't Rushman do on the field? Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
And one gone. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. Right. He gets it out of the That's danger right. zone. And you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire oh, okay. way. So you have to swing as a hitter. But then just falls one off ball. the table and almost hits you in the back foot. The why to kick the pitch. That one at 95 missed up top. It's two and two. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs on to that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Ref Snyder ranging back. And it hits the fence. And into second easily with a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Man at second here with two away. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. No, Just missed. Ball. Two outs. That one misses. Now three and one. The pitch. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here is James McCann. McCann. to the right side finds its way through base hit the throw in and he's out cut down and that ends the inning well it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield but an excellent job of coming up with it getting rid of it quickly and throwing on the money that is great technique from start to finish nice job to end the inning And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning. And now here is Connor Wong. Late on that fastball. One and two. This one popped up. Moving under it. Pulls it in for the out. One up, one down. That hanging, breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. Masataka Yoshida will hit next. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Now it's Dominic Smith. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Riding to the plate. He goes down looking. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle so I gotta think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands and the righty deals that and one misses one. and a count two and one ground ball up the middle got him on the off balance throw and that is that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Red Sox six and the Orioles nothing.
back here in Baltimore Leading off. as we go to the last of the third. Here's the left fielder, Colton Kowser. And here it comes. Gets him to chase after that one. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. Two, so two. keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. And that one handled. Gets it to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. The right Absolutely field. sawed him off. Hey, that explodes. Hey, and then he makes there. an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Anthony Santander at the plate. One down, base is empty. Oh, and two. another ball. Two balls, one strike. Righty delivers. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. I think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point now succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Hard hit, right side. On the run, sends it over to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Orioles held in check there. They still find themselves down 6-0. the fourth still stepping in for Boston David Hamilton David Hamilton and he deals so a foul ball makes it one and two left hand batter waits swing and a miss struck him out one away Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left side. Fires over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now bad at it. Right fielder, Willier. So digging in, Willier Abreu. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Up the middle. On to O'Hare. Yeah. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Down in order, go the Red Sox. They lead it, though, 6 zip. And we're back. Leading John Chobby and Chris Singleton oh, 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 oh. with you. And the leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ryan O'Hearn. Oh, the 2 1. Good oh. eye right there. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate rain thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Now a swing, and O'Hearn sends this one high in the air and deep to right field. That one back there, it bangs off the wall. The throw to second is offline. 
He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing. And a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. So, man aboard. Here's Adley Rutschman. Kicks and deals. Three and one. In the dirt. And the runner holds. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a foul ball. The Red Sox up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Well, that was the cutter no down and no in no right no there. No and typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. 2-1. and one. That's in there. And the count is even two and two. And the right hater deals. No. Inside just missed. Really good Great. take, especially with two strikes. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Yeah, Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two outs. On the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Orioles lead one. Still up against a 6 nothing deficit. We're now back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Birch Smith. He's pitching on two days rest. And stepping in from Boston, Rob Refsnyder. The left fielder, number 30, Rob Refsnyder. Back to work, 3-2 now. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Rips one to right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now that third base, Raphael Devers. Now it's Devers at the plate. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two now. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Just a slow ground ball this time. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now batter. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Next pitch is outside. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one 
And that is that. Three up, three down that time. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Red Sox six and the Orioles nothing. Back now at Oriole Leading Park. Off. Bottom of the Leading inning. Orioles. Down the third baseman. The third Ramon baseman. Rios. Ramon. 1-1 one, one now. The other way. And that's a fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he's into second with nobody out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard. Now the Orioles catcher, James McCann. Man at second. Well. One off, two and two. Urias at second with nobody out. That one to first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Now that the left fielder. So the lineup flips over, and next for the Orioles, Colton Kowser. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. On the ground to third. Over to Smith, and they're down to their last out. Now back, the right, the right field. field, Anthony Santander. So up next, Anthony Santander. Hey. Swing and a miss. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Zach Kelly preparing to come on if needed. Winkowski also getting ready. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up. Last half of inning number five. And that's, that's down it away. He okay. should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Pavetta is just one strike away. Smith steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our 